Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to do an inline splice in 764 amp steel. This inline splice lets you take um, extra short pieces that you have and make a really cool long piece that is still super strong. I'll show you how to do it this way, it's the fastest way, super strong. And then I'll show you how to do it this way, it takes a little bit more time, and but it's still just as strong, but you have to do more splices in series. Okay, so you just start off with your pieces that you want to put together. And you want to thin the ends of these just so it uh, splices in there nicer. Um, this one, I've pulled four strands out because it's an eight strand braid about an inch down and I've cut them. And you can also just cut a nice angle right here if you got a Kevlar scissors and thin it out that way. So that's the two ways that I thin it out and both ways work great. So once you got your two pieces uh, thinned out and uh, up against each other, just go back uh, three inches on one of them. That's where we're going to begin the splice. And then get your splicing tool. This guy right here is a uh, one millimeter stainless wire from K&S. And then I heat the end up right here where it goes into the handle. And then once the material cools, it provides a nice long lasting splicing tool. Okay, so enter the braid of one of the strands and then grab the other strand and pull it through like this. And then go back up and match them up so you're at three inches again. No need to mark them with the marker. If you start at three inches the first time, then that's your, that's your reference. Okay, so now we're going to do that first method. And so what we want to do is the next time we enter this the braid of course we're going to enter the one that the gray one because we already entered the orange one but we want to go where we entered it right here we want to go beyond that on the short piece and then pull this other long piece through and uh let me do that and then i will show you why i do it that way so i'm going to enter the gray piece aka entering the short piece that is that is um beyond that first splice we did and towards that other long piece. So now I gotta pull the long piece through. So let me do that. Okay, so I'm pulling the long piece through there. And I'm getting caught on one of the previous splices. That's okay, it'll still go through. And so now I'm starting to pull this together like that. And as you can see, um, I haven't um, finished this yet, but look. It's got lots of strength. It's like already, I mean, it's already spliced together. I could actually take these pieces and go out and create another invention or something. Or I could actually even splice loops into these and I would have inline loops hanging off here. And I still have all the strength. So that's that's the first method. And that's why you um, splice in the sequence that I told you. And so now to finish this style off, all we have to do is bury the short pieces in the long pieces that are in line and now some people might look at the length of this berry and say well that's only three inches you have to have more for 764 because i looked it up online etc etc but remember the the berry right now the main job of the berry is just to keep uh sorry about this focus here the main job of the berry is to keep this braid from coming apart because all the strength this splice has right now is dependent on this braid being held together. So if the braid is inside of here, it's getting held together. So it has a ton of strength. And also, this is only a 3-inch berry right here. But we also have another 3-inch berry. So we have an effective 6-inch berry doing it this way. So let's go ahead and bury this gray piece. We're just entering the orange braid and going... Um, going up to our little splice and grabbing the gray piece just pull it through until you got it all the way through you can give it a little tug right here to make sure you got it all in there and then pull it along there and see there it is looks kind of cool the gray inside of the orange now we're going to do the other side over here just enter the gray just like we did before Enter the gray, go all the way up to our splice, and grab the orange piece, and pull it through. And 
make sure you like you got it all the way in there and there it is it's finished we can uh, make it look a little prettier by going like this with our hands giving it a little tug or taking the handle of our splicing tool and just rub it over there like that and so there it is it's super strong it has a six inch berry it has those two those two splices that are that are uh, getting all that strength from the berry or from the braid that is being held together by the the berry so it, it's super strong and uh there it is so now let's do the other method that i showed you where it ends up looking like this when we're finished okay for this one we'll have we got a gray piece and we got a uh, a yellow piece this is actually the the piece i've been working on so we're gonna go three inches right here oops so we got three inches right there let's start right there like before enter the braid just like before grab the other one line them up so we got three inches on both okay and uh now now we're just going to enter the yellow piece right here and pull that short piece through that's kind of like the way your brain actually tells you to do it because it's it seems a lot easier it seems like you're just copying copying what you did right here now may remember the other method i had you splice the yellow piece up here and bring this long piece through but here this is the other method so now we're just gonna we're going to pull the short piece through so check that out so we kind of got the same thing, right? However, if we pull it, ah, uh, the splicing automatically comes apart. We don't have the strength of the braid like on the other one. However, that's not a problem because, check this out, let's just continue doing what we were doing before. So let's enter the gray piece here, all right? And now we got to capture our long piece and pull it through. Capture the long piece, pull this through get caught up with the previous splicing a little bit that's okay so once we get that pulled through look at that now we have now we're starting to have these little triangle formations and everything okay so now that we did that on that one side now we actually have this braid the braid of this gray piece is holding everything together now we can actually uh go ahead and finish splicing from here if we want by starting to just bury stuff but let's not do that let's do what we did right here now on this other short yellow piece so now we're going to enter the short yellow piece with our splicer and then we're going to pull that short gray piece through huh look what we did okay we almost got messed up there but look at that now we've done a series of those inline splices and now it looks like that multiple little chevron things so now this is uh just as strong as the other one but it has that added initial little splice and so then to finish it all we got to do is bury our short pieces inside of our long pieces just like before enter the braid exit the braid up by the splice capture the short piece in the splicing tool pull the short piece all the way through so it's fully buried melt the outer piece do the same thing over here just enter the long piece exit the long piece up by your splice Grab the short piece and bring the short piece into the long piece. And there it is. And we can grab it and pull it, pull it out. Make sure it's all the way in there. And uh, this might look a little uneven at first. You can take your hand and like roll it like this. Hopefully we didn't. Uh, do anything incorrect but yeah there it is so this is just a way to utilize your um if you got a bunch of pieces laying around and you can also do this inline splice like this 
like in a whoopee sling or on a, a shuttle. So say that you wanted a shuttle to ride on this line, like a, a UCR, a unit, uh, utility constrictor rope, but you wanted to make sure it didn't slide off one end, or you wanted to make sure it only slid within a certain range, you could do this inline splice, and as that UCR came up to here, it wouldn't be allowed to go any further. So you can use that like in a suspension component, or or like a backpack hanger or other gear hanger. If you had to, even if you had like a six wrap Prusik along this line, and it and it rode along the line and, and carried a piece of gear, once it reached this inline splice, it wouldn't go any farther. So you can you you could use it as a uh, as an, as just a utility in your in building and stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and leave me a like or subscribe if you wish. See you in the next one. Bye.